pleasure always to see you. Uh, this is such a special film. Am I right to thinking that this is not your first animated film, but is it the most unique? <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is clearly the most unique film that I've been involved with, um, and that's Wes Anderson. You know, he's he's an auteur, very specific in his visual interpretation and the sensory uh, mm -hmm. involvement for his audience. Uh, he is an American by birth, but he feels like he belongs to the world. It doesn't feel like his movies are really American in any regard. It feels universal. And uh, the themes and the, the intention of this film is to allow it to resonate with everyone from around the world whatever your particular culture or country is going through um, socially, politically, I think, I think it's going to resonate quite well. And, and it's yeah. incredibly entertaining. Yeah, I fully agree. This is the s a story where audiences are going to relate all over the world. Uh, because of the way animated uh, films uh, work, did you get to see the whole script and did you get the whole picture about how it was going to be or did you only get chief storylines? I believe there was an early draft mm -hmm. of the script that I read. I, I'm, that's, I'm pretty sure that's, that was the case. In truth, though, when, when, it was the in, when the offer came up that Wes Anderson wanted me to be in a film of his, the, the quick answer is yes. <laughs> yes, Wes. <laughs> yes, Wes, I will do it. And it's almost like you don't, you don't even need to explain what it is. Whatever yeah. you want me to do, I'll do it. Because he's that, <clears throat> he's that creative. And you know that if you're in a Wes Anderson story, it's going to take you on a journey that you could not have anticipated. Uh, talking about journey, most of his characters in all his films are in, you know, in quest of identity. They find mm. themselves. It is the case of Chief in this one. He's kind of looking for himself without really searching. That is true. Uh, and I like that. And, and Chief, my character, is a damaged being. Mm. And I suppose I, I play damaged characters a lot. <laughs> but and very I, different ones. Well, <laughs> different ones, but still ones that have have had some turmoil in their in their lives and chief is a is a homeless uh, being and filled with some resentment and anger and wonder curiosity rebellion rebellion um, and not knowing who he is really or where his where he belongs in society and it's a journey that over the course of the film he finds himself uh, I've interviewed you many times for very different roles. How much is uh, genre exploration important for you? This is an animated film. Trombo was, a, you know, biographical facts, uh, etc. How much is it a journey every time for you when you dive into something completely different? Uh, the, the most important thing for me is the story. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it important? Does it enlighten or illuminate something on society? Is, does it resonate with you? Uh, so I... When I read a story, I, I ask myself the next day, is it staying with me? Is it something that I'm, I'm already starting to wonder about? And that's always a very good sign. If it's something that leaves me immediately, I'm, I'm just not interested in it. Uh, so it doesn't really matter what the character is if that story isn't cohesive and compelling. And Isle of Dogs is and was, when I first read it, um, almost three years ago now. It, it, is a, it is a compelling story and it has so many different elements that are going to be able to resonate with, with audiences around the world. Was yesterday the first time the whole cast uh, got together? Did you guys get the opportunity to meet before? Uh, we, when I did the recording, mm. I was with uh, Bill Murray and mm. Bob Balaban and Edward Norton and Wes in the room, the, the four of us. The rest of the cast weren't able to meet at any given time, and so they were done individually. Uh, and that's the world of an animation uh, filming, because it, it is kind of segregated and separate. Um, but yes, last night here in Berlin, we were able to all be together and, and see it all come together. 
And some of us, I had seen it before, but some had not seen the film before. Um, and it's a, it's a wonderful journey and unusual, eclectic, and entertaining. A lot of actors don't like to watch themselves on screen. Um, if I had the talent of acting, I'd love that, you know, to watch it with an audience. Uh, what's your <laughs> position well, on it? <laughs> it's interesting because you hear your voice, but yeah. um, because you, you did compartmentalize your own voice at any given time, you didn't know what the other recordings sounded like or you weren't aware of that. You weren't there. And so it comes together and... And under the under the guide of, of Wes's direction, being able to be like an orchestra leader and just this tone, this note at this time, a little too much on that, you know, let that come up. This needs to come up and, and he and he manipulates the whole thing until to a cohesive. So he is really the only one who's got a clear picture in his head. And we experienced last night for the first time during the premiere of what was in his head at the time.